Hello there, and welcome back to the Crab Tribe. Today I want to take a, some time out of my day and talk about Lavinia, the Azorius Renegade. She's a two-cost, potentially a commander you could use, uh, so pretty cheap to get out early and control the game. And it's one of my uh, favorite cards from an earlier set, the Ravnica Allegiance. So she says, each opponent cannot cast non-creature spells with a converted mana cost greater than the lands that player controls. Uh, so early on, if someone has uh, trying to rely on treasure or artifacts, that kind of slows them down. Uh, we're going to focus on the second ability, however, which says whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it, counter that spell. Uh, so all of those pack spells, um, Jeweled Lotus, Mana Crypt, uh, all those spicy cards are countered by Lavinia because they don't use mana. Um, so that's already pretty good, but we're going to take things a step further and I'll show you uh, actually six cards total that I think work well with her. And if you have any feedback, questions, or concerns, please let me know in the comments. But starting things off, here is the Omen Machine and Wild Evocation. Uh, they both work pretty similar, um, where they get a free spell, your opponents, uh, including yourself actually. And I actually give you the key phrase there, without paying its mana cost, uh, that means there's no mana involved, it is countered. Uh, although Wild Evocation is red, so you couldn't use that if Lavinia was the commander. Uh, but let's go focus on the Omen Machine first there. It says players cannot draw cards, uh, but on the beginning of their draw phase, or draw step, uh, they exile the top card of their library. If it's a land, they put into play. Otherwise, uh, they just get it for free. And since it is free, it is countered. And Wild Evocation is similar except it happens on the upkeep, uh, and it comes randomly from that player's hand. So these ones are kind of weak because they involved uh, kind of a chaos um, random factor. Uh, you can make Omen Machine better if you had, uh, like, Soof Sane, um, if you had some way to look at the top card of your library, uh, like Reality Chip, um, and uh, that's some way you can take advantage of that. Um, but yeah, so these are kind of at the bottom of my list, uh, although you can use scroll rack actually because you, although you can't draw cards with Omen Machine, you could put them in your hand, so that is actually not drawing. Uh, but yeah, those are options. And then next we have Possibility Storm, which I think is a, uh, one more notch up the ladder because although it is still random, you'd at least know what kind of card you're going to get. Because it says whenever a player casts a spell from their hand, that player exiles it, uh, and they're going to dig from the top of their library until they get a card of the same uh, card type. So if they get a cast a creature, they dig for a creature. Same thing with instant sorcery, artifact, enchantment, uh, or planeswalker. Uh, and uh, then they cast that new spell uh, for free uh, without paying the mana cost. Uh, so something to keep in mind, though, they are still casting spells, uh, so they would get still uh, cast triggers. Um, and anything that says uh, cast without paying its mana cost, um, that is an alternative cost of doing it. So you can't choose another alternative cost. Uh, you can't use um, overload spells in addition for, uh, for it being free. Uh, and also um, X cost spells are considered zero uh, for any of these types of spells. Uh, but again, this is just another um, option um, that uh, involves uh, your opponents getting uh, countered spells and you getting free spells. So that is pretty good, although this one is red. And the more popular option, I think, uh, more well-known, is Knowledge Pool. When Knowledge Pool enters the battlefield, each player exiles the top three cards of their library. And whenever a player casts a spell, uh, they're basically exchanging that spell with another spell in Knowledge Pool. And then they get that spell for free. Uh, so actually, this doesn't really affect uh, lands. So lands are just exiled forever. Uh, but those free spells that they get are countered with Lavinia, except for the ones that you get. So that's pretty good. Um, it uh, soft locks the game because players really can't cast spells from their hand. And if you want to take it a step further, 
uh, players uh, cannot cast spells from any other zone but their hand with Dranith Magistrate. So if you want to make things even more spicy, uh, that could be another way to uh, lock out the game. So yeah, that's Knowledge Pool. And next we have Eye of the Storm. Eye of the Storm um, is kind of like that, but uh, only for instant or sorceries. Because it says whenever a player uh, plays or casts an instant or sorcery, uh, remove that card from the game so it's exiled. Uh, and then that player uh, basically creates copies of everything that has been exiled with it. So the first one you do, actually, it is exiled, but then you get it again. You get the copy of it. Uh, and that stack keeps building every instant or sorcery you cast. Um, and the uh, all those copies, uh, they may cast without paying its mana cost. Um, and because it doesn't involve mana, it is countered with Lavinia. So you could potentially cast uh, like a Brainstorm and then a Windfall and then some kind of board wipe um, and then another draw spell, for example. Um, and every time you cast a spell, you have all the previous spells you can use uh, in any order. So Eye of the Storm is kind of a unique uh, card. It's very, uh, can be chaotic uh, without Lavinia, but with Lavinia, it uh, locks out uh, instant or sorceries from your opponents. Uh, but it's a seven cost spell, so it can be kind of hard to get off early. And finally, the number one card that I believe is the best with Lavinia, the Azorius Renegade, is Dream Halls. Dream Hall says that instead of paying the casting or uh, the mana cost of a spell of any color, you can instead choose to discard a card that shares the color with it. Um, and then it actually reminds you there that X is considered zero. Uh, so if you have a blue spell, you discard a blue spell. It doesn't matter if it's uh, an eight or five or even a 10 cost, like on missions. Uh, you just put it on the battlefield for free uh, for the rather insignificant cost of discarding a card. Um, in Azorius Colors, it's very easy to get cards out of your graveyard, uh, shuffle your, your graveyard into your library. Uh, you could you know, use Clear the Mind. Um, there's some artifacts who do similar things. Uh, yeah, uh, just uh, keep in mind though, Colorless is not a color, so it doesn't really work for artifacts. Um, but those free spells uh, that uh, doesn't work for your opponents because Lavinia will counter them. Uh, so only you have the option of free spells. So this is very strong with Lavinia. And so altogether, uh, that is six cards that um, Lavinia can take advantage of. And if there are any more that I missed, please let me know. Um, and I'd love to hear how you guys use Lavinia in your decks. And uh, yeah, happy Valentine's Day and have a good one.